Hey guys, welcome back to High Tech Tens. Today we'll talk about why deep fakes might be used for phishing attacks in the future. Let's head into it. Deep fake phishing is a new kind of attack that should be of worry to chief information security officers because of the increasing sophistication of AI, audio, and video technologies, as well as the quantity of users' personal data that is accessible on social media. The deep fake technology manipulates audio, video, and still pictures using artificial intelligence. To this day, the majority of deep fakes have been used for entertainment and political goals which may be either benign or harmful. However, specialists warn that the deepfake technology also presents a number of threats to corporate information technology. For instance, utilizing deepfake material in phishing attacks to deceive consumers into making illegal payments or offering sensitive information that hackers may use to their benefit is an example of deepfake phishing. For instance, according to the Wall Street Journal, con artists used deepfake phishing to convince the CEO of a UK energy company to send them £243,000 in payment. The con artists then used the money for themselves. By employing voice spoofing software that was powered by artificial intelligence, the con artists were able to deceive the firm's CEO into believe that he was speaking with the CEO of the parent company of their operation. Deepfake phishing operations will almost probably grow more prevalent and more successful as technology advances. Deepfake phishing attempts may be countered by CISOs by educating their employees on what it is and how it works. The many kinds of deepfake phishing scams. Deepfake phishing attacks may be divided into the following 1. Real time attacks. Deepfake audio and video are so advanced that they fool the victim into thinking that the person on the other end of a conversation is who they claim to be, perhaps a colleague or a customer for example, in a successful real-time assault. A great feeling of urgency is likely to be created in these conversations by the attackers, who will toss forth fictitious due dates and other punishments for delay in order to make the victim fear and take action. Attacks that don't happen in real time. Cyber criminals use deepfake audio or video communications to pose as someone else and then spread their impersonation through asynchronous communication channels like chat, email, phone, or social media in non real time assaults. Criminals are relieved of the need to answer convincingly in the moment because of this method of communication, which allows them to polish a deepfake tape before sharing it. Non-real-time attacks, on the other hand, have the advantage of being well-tuned and less likely to arouse suspicion. A deepfake video or audio clip, when sent through email, is more likely than standard text-based phishing efforts to get past security filters. With the purpose of gathering sensitive information from everyone in the finance department at once, someone pretending to be a CFO may send the same audio or video memo to every member of the finance department. When it comes to these types of assaults, social media footprints are frequently enough information for attackers to strike at the most vulnerable times. How to fight against deepfake phishing Train a lot This and other developing attack routes must be made known to end users via continual training by security professionals. It's easy to become bored with security awareness training, but making it engaging, competitive, and rewarding may help keep students interested and focused. It's good news that workers will likely find the deepfake phishing awareness training to be both innovative and instructive. For example, share compelling deepfake movies and challenge your viewers to discover dubious visual indicators, such as unblinking eyes, irregular lighting, and strange facial motions. When it comes to deepfake detection, this kind of training exercise is sure to create an impact. Put a stop to it. Every manager and leader should constantly remind their staff of the significance of this concept as part of their continuing security awareness training. Anyone who senses haste in any encounter with a cyber criminal should instantly raise the warning bells. No matter who it is that wants an instant wire transfer or a supply of goods, Users should pause and check that the request is legitimate before proceeding forward. Make it a habit for workers to kindly inform customers who make urgent real-time demands that owing to an uptick in phishing assaults, they will need to verify their identities via other channels. The same rules apply to non-real-time requests. 
challenge the other party. Although it is a useful mitigation approach, employees seldom learn about it as part of their security awareness training, despite the fact that it is extremely effective. It is possible to coerce the person on the other end of a discussion into providing information that both parties need to be aware of, such as the date on which they started working together for the first time. Intimate companions sometimes probe one another with personal questions, such as the number of pets each person owns or the time and place of their most recent shared meal. Identifying imposters before they do harm is difficult and requires skill, but it is an effective method for catching them early. What do you think about deepfake being used in phishing attacks? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure that you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.